now in this job portal we are having some more uh, work to do and some finishing works is also there suppose that uh, this is the over user side and suppose somebody uh, directly type admin uh, sorry admin slash home then it will uh, he or she will be able to see the pages and even they can add jobs and view resumes and do any kind of operation over there so there is no security in admin panel so uh, we have to give the security uh, in admin panel by some username password authentication method so let's uh, we have to create a authentication in the admin side so first of all let's take a new page login in the admin side and select the master page in the admin okay. now go to the design portion and let's create a complete login form so at this time uh, means same procedure way which we have adopted in the user side is used in uh, this portion also so so the same thing session maintenance of the session and applying the session so first of all i just copy this complete form from here so we not need not to make this form once again yeah and just remove this forgot password because admin you will never forgot password remove this also let's yes and in the login i'm just uh, directly uh, giving some username and password and checking uh, this so if txt login dot text is equal to equal to suppose i give admin is a username and txt password dot text equal to equal to same admin is the password so if both are correct in that case login is successful so uh, first of all we have to do a session variable suppose uh, let's take the session uh, and add sorry add and the session variable let's give the admin in the session variable and a value is the txt login.txt it's a simple just a, uh, set some value in the admin panel and after login it is response dot redirect to the home.aspx else else means uh, if login is not uh, correct then uh, we should give a error please enter correct login in for mission and in the rest of the pages we will check the session variable like uh, in the add new jobs just to go to the page load event and write a code if page dot session admin is not equal to is equal to equal to null in that case response dot redirect to the login dot aspx and id uh, set id equal to login 
required okay now same code we have to place in the all the pages where we don't want to uh, in the starting of the page load event which page we don't want to open without any without any login authentication paste here and in the login we do not require in the view jobs paste in the view resumes also in the page load event just paste the code now uh, one more thing we have to do in the login dot aspx page in the page load event if request dot query string and uh, request dot query string uh, login sorry login sorry sorry in the request dot query string if id is not equal to null in that case and if request dot query string and the id dot to string is equal to equal to login required in that case let's give a lbl error dot text that uh, Uh, login required uh, please login now our admin portion i think our admin portion is safe let's try let's type some admin slash so Okay, there is some small technical problem that is yeah. Now this is error is there. Now if you uh, will give any, if you want to go in any of this field, it will not allow you. And when you log in by using some login password, then after that you can see all the pages and do other operations also. So here uh, we have applied some authentication process in the admin panel. Similarly, in the log in the user side, we have to also check uh, which pages is not allowed to view before login. So we have to apply the uh, same session checking code over there.